So how much does the, um, you know, the quality of the wood enter into, you know, how you decide composition? Well, the wood's always you... been very important uh, to me. It needs to uh, have a bit of its own voice. If you impose yourself strictly on the wood, I think that the work is not quite as successful. And there are always surprises within wood when you're working on it, uh, you know, inclusions that you didn't know were there, uh, cracks or things that you have to deal with. and. Uh, so those are always a challenge, but I, I like the subtractive process of wood. It it's, uh, seems to work for my mentality somehow that you can uh, go at it with uh, the attitude of removing mm -hmm. material. Now this one also has a relationship to the vessel, you know, with the opening. It does. Uh, this is an earlier piece, uh, and I was trying to, to use geometric designs and uh, contrasting colors. Uh, to make them more interesting and then when they sit sideways like that one does I think that gives it sort of a balanced question too that relates mm -hmm. to this piece. Mm -hmm. Now there's one thing that ends up being somewhat similar between you know wood and, and iron in that you know the nature of the material ends up um, you know kind of taking precedent after a little while yeah. you know you can set up some kind of a formal idea you know in the material but then if you're moving it in, uh, in the true nature of, of wood or in the true nature of iron, it ends up taking it beyond that, you know, that place, that formal place, and returns it to something organic too. Right. So you've chosen to leave, you know, these areas where, um, where its original, you know, nature is fully exposed, and those decisions are key, you know, to the success. They of the are. Piece. They are. Uh, I think the the living organism aspect of wood is important. Uh, Louise Nevelson called it livingness. And it, it does enter into to, uh, the piece and the, uh, the design. I think it needs to have its say. When I sometimes think about working wood, you know, I imagine it to be this kind of extractive process, of course, that it is. Mm -hmm. and, but do you ever, as you're working wood, think about you know, wishing that you could manipulate it like clay or forge it like iron or you know, get it to have that kind no, of movement? No. no, I think it has a tendency to uh, be what what you're used to and what uh, what types of uh, techniques you're f comfortable with mm -hmm. and uh, I, I don't know just taking it away seems to work the best for me mm -hmm. and going ahead and doing it you don't have to wait to see what the glaze is going to look like if it's fired you it's immediate mm -hmm. that's the thing I like about wood it's very immediate yeah 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 but you have to follow its lead yeah and you're limited to a certain extent by size that's available and that type of thing. 